Welcome back to Captain of Industry. My name is Nilaus and we are here back again. Uh, this is, in my opinion, an absolutely wonderful game because every time you step, you take care of one thing, there are a few more things that crop up. And this depends very much on how you choose to play it. I choose to play it looking ahead instead of looking back. Of course, there will always be some things that are kind of problematic. So, for example, our water is desperately low and will probably run out, uh, which is a little bit of a problem. So I put in a few more tanks here, which is nice. Um, I actually think I might want to do something regarding this corner here. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think so. I, I think I'm, I'm a little bit desperate here on this part. Uh, so I'll get one of these also going into that one and here. So I'll get prioritized from this side. And that means we can start emptying this one into uh, keeping our power alive. Because, you know, we kind of want our power to stay alive. Thank you for that. Right. So what we're going to do today is we are going to work on some oil. And for doing that, we are going to be upgrading our second oil facility to level two. I have cleared the space, I took uh, this part here and I rotated it to put it up on this case because this will be all the water for our city. That's really important that we get water for our city here. We are also going to build, this will be our oil facility and then we'll have a new location out here. Let's see, a new uh, depot. It's going to be out here in gloriously out here. I think this is a good location. Yeah, let's keep it like this. And we might as well build it now. And let's get some mod modules as well. So when building these monstrous things, I have a tendency to build everything or to design everything at once and then uh, line it up for build. Ah, that's interesting. What are you doing? I don't know. That's weird. Um, these should be oil. Yeah. And there, that's good. And this one will get some of that, and that's all good. And we'll start getting some in, because we have some of that. And I will be sending my ship. Well, you might as well go up here and just have a little battle out there. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to build uh, the, the distillery we have built over in this location, tier 1 and 2. But it start, it's, it's just started to become a little bit of a mess, to be honest. So we're going to be building it over here and uh, taking this one out because I can't really expand it because of the steel and iron. So we'll build it uh, brand new here. And this is uh, basically the one that you can build, you can use for the rest of the game. And I think that will, well, no, I know that it will get you all the way through to the end of the game uh, with this build. At least the way I do it. And here. So what? how big are we going to make it? We're going to make it at this size. That means 216 oil inbound. And then we just go through the motions of getting the next one in. And then you might go like, well, isn't that exactly what you built before? Yeah, 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 yeah. It is. Um, there we go. Where? How do we rotate it like this? And get that over on that side as well. Except now we can also go further into the next distillation stage, which is here. And... And we'll copy it like this. So right now, everything is, there's a main line here, the light oil. The crude oil comes in, becomes mainly medium oil. The medium comes in, becomes diesel, and the rest becomes light oil. The light oil now comes out and becomes naphtha, which goes out to become 12 naphtha. And then we can go up. And then we're going to use the cracking unit, which is a new thing we've, we've gotten here. This one, cracking unit, is going to crack naphtha plus hydrogen into more diesel and some fuel gas. So that's the one we want to build uh, at this point. And I think I want to have one more. Well, I know I want one more because that will be fitting here. This one is taking. That's the right one. Why is that 18? It's not the one. That's not the one. It's this one, of course. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. I need to be in build mode. No, I don't want all of this build. All right, whatever. I have. This is why I don't want to build because I don't want. Uh, just cancel that. It paused. I don't know if it's building or not building. It looks okay, and then we're going to take the recipe out and take the correct recipe in. And then we're still going back to build mode because that's kind of what we want. Uh, luckily, I built the first things correct, but I'm not necessarily going to continue to do that. So that takes care of all of the NAFTA from these two locations. 
there, 12 NAFTA plus 12, that these two consolidate in here. Good. Now, the only thing we, we basically at this point, we just trace through what we have left and what we're going to do about it. We have some heavy oil that we haven't done anything with. That's going to be 24 heavy oil. So let's use another cracking unit down here. And let's actually rotate it maybe like this even, or even get something like this. And that will be a cracking heavy oil to diesel. You can do heavy oil to NAFTA and then NAFTA to diesel. But all it does is use more hydrogen. So let's go the direct route. Hi, uh, that one to diesel. That's good. That will be here. And we'll get another one next to it like that. So that means we now need some hydrogen and we have just researched hydrogen reformer and that was who knows where that is. That is completely impossible to know. Glass maker. Well, that's also cool. Hydrogen reformer here. And that will be up on this side, I think. Let's have a look at the inputs and maybe we'll flip it. Something like this, because that gets the hydrogen from here and into these two locations. Now, we have to be careful or be mindful. This is fuel gas out. This is fuel gas out. This is fuel gas in. What we have with all this is we have a lot of fuel gas. That's 18 times three, that's 72. And then plus another 30 times two, that's uh, up to 132. And then plus these two, we get up to 144 fuel gas outbound of this. So we have a monstrous amount of uh, fuel gas that we need to, to work with. And uh, we are going to use 36 of it, not quite, because this 36 will give us 42. And we don't need 42, we need 12 plus 12. So that's, um, it's about half of this. So let's say instead of 36, we're going to be using like 20 of these, which still gives us a surplus, like a massive surplus of, let's say, let's call it 120 something fuel gas. So we are going to now use yet another cracking, cracking setup here. And let's try flipping it somehow maybe like this this will be a cracking of fuel gas plus oxygen into diesel that's good and maybe like this i don't know and then this would if this is going to work 100 percent it only takes the 36 why not all of it well because i'm going to use the majority of the fuel gas for our fueling so it's only going to be a little bit of this that we actually have uh, can use and if i've flip this as well that is as close as we can make it and that means this is here that's now going to be a straight line in good now we have if we take 36 out of the 120 something that means that will be have 80 something remaining uh, yeah rough numbers but uh, i've done the the exact math but but that's less uh, relevant right now then we need to get in here and get some fuel and uh, that is here, this fuel is uh, no, 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 no. There, even though it's 72, then we have so much fuel gas that we are going to be using fuel gas for this conversion, and it will generate a quite a lot of carbon dioxide. So we need to be mindful of that. Um, this is not enough. This 42 steam is not enough because it's six plus three plus three. That's 12 times. Four, that's tw this is 48 and then there's a little bit of steam here three plus three and a little bit of steam here also another three so that's a little bit more that means we need two of these and we then also need a boiler a regular old-fashioned boiler just to make sure that we have things going uh, to, to get started on i think i'm going to be making it sort of neat in some way uh, it's really much more comfortable to work when you have there um yeah when you have like a clean green surface to work on but this corner is great oh look at that is it is it actually done <gasps> it's so close to done what are you waiting for no valid destination for dirt okay well uh that's surprising honestly i wonder if i can make okay i'm gonna get distracted a little bit can i make a new shipyard no it's too close to that one too bad Collision with, okay. I was kind of hoping I could build it here so I could level that area out. Uh, doesn't seem possible. So now I'm gonna find somewhere else that I can build and I can do use as a dumping zone and I am going to use this as a dumping zone. Um, probably need to make it flat instead. And let's think, let's use the N value here, this one. 
that one and then hmm there the reason why this is important or valuable is that it would mean that we could get like a little uh what is it a dam of some sorts here so that we can dig out all of the copper in the, in this part without breaching it and flooding this area so let's get all of this done and i will be marking this as an area this is collecting from everywhere so let's do that uh, this one is really not needed anymore or not just not needed but also just in very incorrect so i'm gonna try to see if i can move it somewhere else here we'll get this one done and we'll get these two out because they're not really working there that will be another place where we just dump things in the ocean great but this one it's dirt so that just makes more let's go back to this design how's that ship in battle did we make it oh we retreated oh no we they beat us up oh well oh well um Right, so down here, let's get this sorted. This will all go into a single consolidated splitter here, which I am going to build somewhere like that. And I'm going to be rotating. Yes. Oh, they're kind of different. And that goes one out. I wanted to align it here. All right, so this, these two will be the primary and this will be for startup. The the coal boiler will be for startup, but because we need to get some startup. So at this point, what are we going to do? We're going to be doing some consolidation of the inputs and outputs. What we're going to do is get a fuel storage. Uh, I'm going to get the fuel storage for the, the diesel storage. Let's just aim it at. This is coming out here. One, two, three, like that. It's a good place. And we want to make it aligned with this one. I think that's a good place. Then let's make another one that's going to be for diesel. Mm, let's make it here because that's probably where that's coming out. So let's get the diesel at this location. And the last one is uh, sour water. Yeah, sour water. Where do we get majority of the sour water? We get that majority down here. That will be right now. It's just going to be a wasted material, waste material, but it will eventually become like a super valuable because it's going to fuel the second part of this. This is for getting diesel, a little bit of, uh, of, of fuel gas because we have a slight surplus of fuel gas. So we need to make sure we deal with it and uh, the sour gas, which will be super valuable and not thrown into the water. But that's going to be a prop, presumably maybe the next episode, uh, or we might need to do some some power before we can get to get expanded from there. All right. So at this point, it's all about just uh, hooking it up with the pipes. That's a uh, that's a long and arduous task, but I do have some principles. So let's see if we can do that. And so all of the piping has been done and uh, I'm really happy about it. I'm trying to sort of make a rigorous system so that the lower one is going to be the fuel gas. This middle one is uh, sour gas, sour water, and the top one is diesel, the three primary uh, things that are transported around. I have a bit of water on the backside. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold my breath and just start everything and then we're going to just start the rest of it in a normal fashion i think that i have to hmm. Hmm. how do i can i can i I'd, I'd like to block something from working uh, so that it doesn't get started yet uh hold on that's actually kind of easy because there is no water because that's the stuff we have to work on this one uh there Wow, that's a lot of weird things I'm doing here. There we go. Also take this out. Don't want to see this. Yeah. Now that it is all done. And let's do a... Oh, there. You're going to get the, the coal inbound. Good. This one is working on fuel gas. We don't have the coal inbound yet, but we will. And they will start working on all of it. Now, what we want to do is we want to make some water. How much water do we need? Well, it was 50 something, 57, I think, uh, steam. So it's going to be 57 water. So let's uh, have a look at our water options at this point. We have the seafloor plump, uh, but we also have in a thermal desalinator. That's the one. 108 plus 12 steam gives us 78. That's enough. That's enough water we got here. So one of these should be enough for what we want. If I'm not this one and 
not this one this is the low steam we'll get the high steam here St high steam goes in water and then some brine as well 78 is enough for this yeah because there's nothing else that needs water aside from this so let's uh get this this means we need a sea floor, sea floor pump Whew. uh this part i'm kind of leaning towards maybe flipping it and then figuring out a way to get since we're getting coal into this one, we are also getting coal into this here. Um, I wonder if I could actually leach the steam. I think that might be a good idea, but I also think it might be a bad idea. Huh. Well, that's great. How are we going to get that over there? See, now I did not think this through. That's not good. Um, we'll go that two up and then go over here. I'll, I'll just park it here and then get that one. Flip it again, rotate it, and get something along these lines. No. Get that up here. This is why I don't do this sort of on camera most of the time. So that will be the water coming in. This will be a better pipe. Because obviously it has to be how much wood you can do 108 and you can consume 108 and some steam and there goes it here. Well, that means we are going to consume all of the fuel gas because the fuel gas will be here. I'll be prioritizing the fuel gas and the fuel gas inbound. Then I'm going to find a way to get some coal inbound to this part here. That's a little bit annoying because I built this here. Coal inbound from here into that one. And that will be coal. And I'm going to even request it and make sure that it's not empty. I will be also making it a little bit higher priority than most other things. Because if our iron doesn't work, then that's so be it. If our entire fuel doesn't work, then that's a little bit of a bigger issue. Uh, that also means that priority-wise outbound, I should be prioritizing this one outbound because that's the one that feeds over here. Uh, are we ready to get this one done? Oh, yes, but... Oh, this is actually perfect because it's rotated the wrong... No, it's the steam. Okay, you don't have the water in yet. We are also going to deal with... store some brine because we're going to need some brine, but we also acknowledge that we're probably not going to use the brine right now. So we're going to get the brine in... That's a... There, we'll get the brine in here. We'll get the brine in here. And then we'll get the brine further on later on. Um, nope, that's not actually it. It has to be different. It has to be this. It has to be the one that just dumps it into the ocean again. Because we are need, we do need to dump some things into the ocean. There we go. Ah. Is there any way that this can be done? It can be a none over here. Sure. We'll move the whole thing. The point of this is now we have Brian coming in, filling up this box first, and then after that, just pouring the rest of it into the ocean. The water here do we want a box for it mm, i don't think i should i don't think i need it but uh, we'll do it anyway and this is actually interesting that is this will be just good old normal water and this one somehow is wrong way that's also the wrong type of, of pipe yeah, so that goes in, and that goes in. There's no other things as well. So let's uh, get this activated, and get this activated. And anything missing? Yeah, you're still missing. That's kind of okay. Uh, maybe I'd like to just pause things while we wait for things to come in, and then uh, we'll take it from there. Only one little thing is remaining, is the remainder of the fuel gas location which we will just uh, get done, but we can do other things because that's the red uh, inserter. So we'll do this one 
and we will do a uh, light square. There we go. Those look beautiful. And if you see 0.39, and let's see when these ones get done, how much we get extra, because that's all they do. They give us a little bit of free Unity, and Unity is nice because we use it for everything, mostly for building, but also just for uh, keeping our base afloat with the various edicts. Let's see. And what we get? Oh, it's pouring rain. All right, get, get this in here. Let's actually just speed it up while we get the rest of it in. And 0 0.39. 0 0.39 still. That kind of sucks. You're supposed to get more. Hmm. Why are you not doing anything? Oh, 0 0.80. Okay, so we got 41. 0 0.41 from this one. And then once we get a little bit, uh, we get more. So I think it'll get, I don't know how much it is that they get for each, but they get a little bit from proximity to this one. So, I mean, it's worth, it's worth doing in my opinion. So we'll, uh, we'll get this done and they're 1.35. So that is a lot. And this one got done in the meantime. Great. So why is it not starting? Well, it's not starting because it, the water can't get in here because it doesn't have steam. The steam is not uh, coming in because I don't have is. So all I can do is, for example, if we could just get a little bit of water inbound, I think that should be possible. This one that just the started move just as we did that. So let's hope that it can go grab some water somewhere. There's a water truck. So once that water truck comes in, then I would imagine uh, this one is prioritizing the recycled water, so the water comes in. This is obviously not what I'm going to do generally, but we're going to get started, kickstarting it. Every oops, everything else here is good. Has the oil, has the stuff. This flows back here, primarily. Primarily, the first steam we get goes back to make sure that we feed this one, and it, we do. All right, we don't need any inbounds anymore. There we go. We can probably sustain it now we should be able to sustain it there we go the water is pumping in and we should also have this don't pick it up and don't bring it in from this location anymore this one will just be a local buffer but please warn me if it get ever gets lower than 25 it's lower than 25 right now but uh let's uh let's keep it like this also build this giant stack here because uh each of these have now 30 72 outbounds so that's too much for one stack so instead of building two stacks here two stacks here one stack there well, five stacks. Let's just build one big one. Huffing and puffing. This one will be the first one to get going. And it'll keep going until it gets the next distillation stage going. Why are you not working? Um, You do not have... Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's so funny with these things, right? Ah, that's the wrong type. Boom. And there. So now you're working, you're working. They are putting out some light oil. Light oil is coming in here. Light oil is waiting for a little bit of steam. Is steam pipes are just not filling up yet. Why are they not filling up yet? Well, because they are, we don't have any fuel gas. The fuel gas is coming out now. It should not go in here. It'll go into, if we look at this, prioritized to that pipe and to reverse pipe. This pipe going all the way back and feeding in here you can see there's like six in this one and eight in this one so soon we'll get the fuel gas boiled steam inbound here there we go that's the first one and once we get that we start having a lot more steam in the system that gets a nice puff and this one it will eventually shut down eventually no maybe not maybe not actually but that's a that's a different matter let's see if we get steam there they're filling up they're filling up then they're pushing down here and we need to make sure that the steam keeps pushing down now that we have steam here not a lot but a little bit that's the last part that gets much more fuel gas fuel gas comes out goes back in here goes into these primary outputs the primary output for fuel gas is now heading in here for the conversion of fuel gas into more diesel and we get more diesel also from the hydrogen, the hydrogen is getting uh, fracked or, or reformed from the fuel gas. And this one will not work all the time. This is not intended to be at full rate. And we do have the loom here. And look at that. This one is now, the whole thing here is producing, is consuming 216 crude oil and producing 210 diesel out of it. So it's almost a one to one ratio. And on top of that, we have beautiful sour water, which will turn into rubber and acid and fertilizer. So really nice. And 
The only other thing inbound is some water and a little bit of coal to keep the water supply flowing. We also get some brine, which we absolutely will need a lot of for our next part, which is steam uh, salt. And salt is an ingredient for glass and we need to make the glass in order to, well, supply uh, the rest of the base. So what we are, I'm really happy. This is for me the best, uh, the best fuel um, you can you can get. It uh, it gets the job done. It works really well. We have the, just a single ship coming in here. It can easily support it. You can build it bigger, but I don't really think you really need it until the very, very, very late late game where you have 150 giant trucks or something like that. But aside from this, it's working fine. You can also at that point just uh, use some fuel saver, I guess. Uh, fuel saver, ships, fuel saver, that's useless. But a fuel saver here, 15%, that's a massive, massive boon as well. Right, so let's uh, take stock of the situation. I don't need these anymore. And we, what we're going to do, I also want to show you the progress on up here, up here, up here, up here. That is a big dig. And there, it's not exactly done yet, but mm, it's, uh, it, it's something is getting done. I'm also seeing that if we look at it, this pathway is also being done. I didn't actually intend it to be done so early, but... I guess that's okay that they are they're building this so there's a nice clean road over here and the power the water here is somewhat recovering it's not great but it's kind of recovering we have a lot of fuel gas here so we should start working on figuring out what we're going to do with the fuel gas that we have uh, basically the, my idea is that i will now reform next episode will reform the power so that it will be primarily using fuel gas but secondarily using coal so we lower the amount of coal we'll also drastically lower the amount of water because we can now use cooling tower to recover water so it'll be doing 50 percent more power and using 50 percent of the water and a lot of the fuel gas and therefore also less less uh, cold so it's going to be a massive uh, massive upgrade we can do for power that power upgrade is sorely needed we're very close to uh, the limit and that will also feed into some glass build that we'll build here which will be in the next episode and then at that point we probably have an overflowing sour water build so we're going to be having to build a little bit more of this uh, just so that we are absolutely sure that we can uh, we, we don't have a disaster on our hands but this sour water is just too valuable for us to throw away right now because that's going to go into our next build, which will be room for it here. That will be the build for for sour gas, uh, basically sour gas processing. That's going to be a, another chemical plant next to the previous one. So that's going to be in an upcoming episode. Hope you want to follow along for the series. I am really enjoying making these videos for you, and I hope that you're enjoying it as much as I am. Remember, if you're a patron supporter, you can always just grab a save game and then take the blueprint for yourself. I'm not uh, in a... I'm not going to be building or releasing blueprints dedicated for this. But um, yeah, you can watch it, see it, uh, copy it as well as you can. You might have some different choices in terms of how to run the pipes. But uh, this is how I really like it. And I think this is kind of a, have become a stable of how I do oil processing. Like in Factorio, there's always like one thing. So hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, following also on Twitch. Until next time, take care and stay effective.